Hi everyone, welcome to another key moment in chess history. In this game, Moroxi is facing off against Rubenstein. Rubenstein has the black pieces. And my question to you, black to move, what would you play here? Pause your video and figure it out. And I would recommend first you come up with a few candidate moves, and then you determine which of those candidate moves make the most sense. All right, so there's a few options here. The first relatively obvious looking one is bishop takes bishop check. However, we run into some problems after queen takes bishop. Because number one, if rook takes, queen takes, queen takes b7. And there's actually no perpetual check here because of queen to g2, and therefore white would just have an advantage in this position and try to make a queen with one of these pawns. Um, the other idea here would be queen to c8. But now white has another annoying plan, rook c5, with the idea of rook to c7 when the queen moves. Uh, and so it kind of turns out, and like if rook f8, rook to d7, so it kind of turns out that bishop takes bishop is not very appealing for black. So then you might come up with the move queen to c8. The idea is if bishop takes bishop, queen takes queen, which would be equal. And if queen takes queen, bishop takes bishop. The problem here, and notice check, rook takes, rook takes. Yes, it's rook and four versus rook and four. But after rook to e7, Black really has no better move than rook b8, and maybe black can defend this, but it's going to be kind of torturous. It's not going to be fun at all. Our rook is tied down to these pawns, and therefore white is just better. The key to this position is most people actually don't even consider the candidate move. I showed this to um, a group of you know, master level young players, like talented young players, and I feel like almost nobody found the right move. Maybe one or two, I can't remember exactly, but they didn't even consider the move as an option. And it's because it's this weird move that keeps a lot of tension in the position. It's this move, bishop to c7. Very easy to not even consider this move. But after this, black is simply even. White has no way to make a uh, any real progress. Bishop takes, queen takes, check, and next move rook takes rook and we're even. And if rook takes rook, which is what was played, just bishop takes, and white actually just has no way to, to do anything special here. Queen d7 was played, queen to g5. Uh, defending everything. Um, real quickly, if he plays bishop to at g7, we have the move queen f4, and this will lead to a draw. Bishop g3, queen e7, and the game was agreed drawn very shortly. So this is a very key moment, one that would not ever be in any books, but I know when I see these games when certain moves are hard to find for the, the average person, and this 32 bishop c7 is one of those moves. So thanks everyone for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with another game from this tournament. Bye-bye.